Good evening. A warm welcome to all of our visitors, parishioners, and those streaming Mass. On this feast day of divine mercy, let us submit our lives into God's loving hands. Let us open our hearts to recognize his presence in this Eucharist. Our main celebrant this evening is Father Tom. Assisting him is Deacon Monty. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, the Universal Church celebrates the Divine Mercy Sunday, and the psalmist beautifully prays, give thanks to the Lord for his mercy endures forever. God loves us unconditionally. We don't deserve his mercy, but because God is merciful, we are given mercy, therefore we are healed, we are forgiven, we are blessed. We need to reclaim that every day in order to feel that strength and feel that uh, powerful, uh, beautiful, beautiful grace coming into our soul. So today let us, uh, let us uh, acknowledge our shortcomings and humbly present ourselves at this Eucharist so that we receive grace after grace. Lord Jesus, by your death and resurrection, we are saved. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are being saved. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your divine mercy, we will be saved. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all sins and bring us to your everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, for you, we give 
give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. Oh God, mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. of God, Son of the Father, you take your way the sins of the world, mercy on us, take your way the sins of the world, receive our prayer, seated the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Father, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. In Greece we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. joy 
joyful shout of the Lord in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. May the word of God be always on our minds, our lips, and forever in our hearts. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. 
Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. I grew up in India, therefore I can probably speak a little more credibly about St. Thomas. <laughs> because uh, just like Peter and Paul went to Rome and, uh, and uh, cultivated the faith and spread the faith and, and gave their life for the faith, St. Thomas in AD 52, which is just trying to calculate over 1900 years before, during the, just after the time of Christ, that he traveled to India because there was a trade relationship between Palestine and India at that time for spices, because all the spices come from the spice coast of India, the southwest part of India, where all kinds of spices were in demand. That is the biggest trade at that time. Just like today, oil is the biggest trade, you know? Or certain points of history, the spices, then comes the, uh, the salt was even before then you come in through the uh, modern times uh, where it is where it is it is oil and so those trade relationships are already there and uh, at that time the suez canal was not there recently in history but uh, they have to go around the african continent from palestine we will have to we will have to go around the african continent to come to india to the indian ocean and the arabian sea if you if you know the if you know the you know the map so at that time, we find before, before he went there, you know, the encounter with the Lord happened in a small room. It happened in a small room where the room was even locked. And then Jesus breaks through the door and, and wishes some peace. Peace be with you. Because their heart was troubled. They were full of fear. And then the Lord comes and, and gives them peace. And continues to, he wishes actually two times and uh, peace be with you, peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Spirit. Uh, if you, with the Spirit, if you forgive things, the sins are forgiven. With the Spirit, uh, if you retain those, uh, they are also retained. So you have the power. Your inner power is given to you to, to be merciful in whatever circumstances of your life. So the Lord has unlocked the key of his, uh, his, uh, his mission. Just as the Father has sent, sent me, I send you, send each one of you. So they listen to those messages, they take it to their heart and, and then process it. Tom, Thomas was not there, therefore he, didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he couldn't quite believe. He couldn't get the peace. So then he was very stubborn and uh, that's why we call him Doubting Thomas, you know. And, uh, but his doubt was good. The doubt has made the Lord come back again. There's a, there's a phrase saying that if the mountain doesn't come to you, you go to the mountain. The mountain will not come anyway. <laughs> That's about stubborn people, right? <laughs> the, Thomas was very stubborn. But the Lord was kind and merciful. As said in the Psalms, he went all the way. He made the extra mile. 
And that's compassion, that is mercy. Already you see that, the mercy there. And then told uh, Thomas to come and see the wounds in my hand and put your finger on my side. And without even putting, you know, he was broken down. He broke down at that time. And the famous profession of faith comes, my God and my Lord. That is from St. Thomas. That's kind of kind of mantra for our faith. You accept Jesus as the Lord and God, you know, and then that's what all about uh, the scriptures. How do you embrace the Lord who is incarnated to be your own Lord and God? Then you see things breaking through our life and, you know, all of the shackles and bondages removed. We are fully grounded in the spirit. And that, uh, that Thomas did not feel quiet, but then he, he doubted, but then Jesus yielded to his doubt. Therefore, before today, our generations can know how that uh, strengthening of the faith takes place. To be honest, you know, Thomas was very honest and he said, I don't know. There are, there are three encounters in the, in the scriptures about uh, Thomas especially. One is uh, when the disciples are afraid to go to Jerusalem. Jesus said, I will be persecuted, will die finally. Then uh, the disciples said, don't, Lord, don't go there. So there Thomas comes as a courageous, daring disciple. He says, let's go and die with him. Let us also go and die with him. If our master is prepared to die, I am prepared to die. Now that was his daring spirit. Then he was also suddenly questioning and doubting. And when the Lord says that I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you to the way. I'm going to go away and then take you to myself, to the Heavenly Father. Then Thomas said, we don't know the way. What is the way you're talking about? So he was always questioning but clarifying. Then the Lord comes up with the famous line, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In a beautiful way, the truths are revealed. So today especially, uh, you know, when you look at St. Thomas' life, it is a daring disciples. He dared to ask questions. Then the answers comes through. And the Lord, it is said, it is from his heart that the water and the blood flew when, when, the, when the, the spear was poked on his side. From his heart poured the water and the blood, which are two signs. The water stands for baptism, purification. We are being reclaimed as our children of God. And then secondly, the blood is a sign of life and uh, mercy. God's own life comes as mercy. Just as John says uh, that God is love, simple definition of God. God is love. But today we can say God is mercy. You know, that simple, very powerful way. And uh, so we can say, you know, uh, so our religion is mercy. You know, our faith is mercy. You know, and the more we are enter into, maybe think about uh, somebody who are merciful to you. Somebody who is kind to you, that will help us feel more of God's mercy. There might have been so many occasions in our life where people have given you a pass. <laughs> people have uh, allow you to save your face. The Lord is, Lord is coming through all those. Somebody who is kind to you, maybe your parents, maybe your family, maybe a police officer on the road. You didn't get the speeding ticket, right? <laughs> and many times I got... Uh, so you let go. Be careful. You know they were kind. You know they were uh, they were understanding. So whenever people show understanding, whenever you receive understanding and acceptance and and uh, and uh, mercy, a kindness, the Lord is present there. Because the Lord is kind and merciful. Jesus comes to uh, comes to us as with His generosity of spirit. That is implanted in the heart of the disciples. That is the reason why, you know, uh, the first reading beautifully tells us the community of the believers are one heart and one mind. They are one heart and one mind. Do you believe that uh, as a community of faithful, we need to be one heart and one mind? You know, do we, do we believe that? Many a time we don't even believe that. We just come and go, right? So that's the call. That's the highest call. That is actually the result of the belief, the result of the faith. Then naturally, the faith takes over your heart, 
The spirit takes over your heart, all other ego plans and all other distractions in the mind goes away, all our agendas being dropped. And it is said that the, the community of the believers were one heart and one mind, one harmony, one unity, one communion, deepest communion possible. That made them to let go even their possessions. All of them sold their possessions and kept it at the feet of the apostles. And then to each one was given according to their need and from each one according to their capacity. That is the original spirit of Christianity. Today we struggle because of our greed. Suppose you have driving a nice car and it's okay and you see somebody has a nice car coming. I need that, right? <laughs> I would like to buy that, you know? It's just greed come because you're already good. You can travel from one place to other. What else do you need, right? So you never know how the greed is taking over our mind. And that's why we have to stay centered and say no to yourself, no to that part of yourself so that the spirit may continue to be grounded in our hearts and minds. We can always say, Lord, I don't deserve anything in my life. It's all because of your mercy. It's all because of your love. It's all because of your grace. And then we can be like that early disciples. That's the challenge and the call today. To be in communion like the, like the faithful, community of faithful. That's why we are called as parish community. Parochial community, Corpus Christi is a body of Christ. The more we embrace and understand, the more joy comes out. There was nobody in that group who were called needy. There was nobody in the community of disciples who were called needy. Wow. That is actually the power of the Spirit. The first reading we again we heard, with the great power they gave witness to the resurrection. It is possible. Many a time we lose that strength and grip. So continue to read the Acts of the Apostles. They are powerful testimonies of the risen Lord and how he break through the shackles of the fight and conflicts and egos and finally get them grounded in the Spirit. That is why we are here. I still believe that that spirit is alive. Although we need to be more alive. That spirit is still alive in our hearts and minds. I cannot uh, let go this day without mentioning Faustina. <laughs> and the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I'm sure you know many of you pray that. The more you know, have mercy on us, O oh Lord, for the sake of the world. You know, for the sake of the world. For my soul, for my family, and the whole world. The Lord has given his uh, body, blood, and soul, and divinity, which we celebrate at the Mass, and enter into that communion of mercy, that communion of love, that communion of, uh, communion of strength. And then you will go from here thinking about it. What is the one thing the Lord asked me to give witness? Ask that question. What is the one thing God asked me to give witness? And uh, one thing I can do, the sign of my faith, as a witness of my faith, maybe call someone and pray with them. Maybe ask them. The other day I began to do something like, ask people, tell me what's the one thing I can pray about. I cannot tell you how much, uh, how much powerful that is. You know, you can, uh, you're, a, you're a person of faith. We should not be shy of praying, right? Any, anybody, your coworker, anybody, someone says, some of these people come to you when you do that. So what's the one thing I can pray about? That is extending your faith in trust and invoking God's mercy into the life of the other and beautifully their life will break through. So a person came to me today and said, I've been in depression for a long time, but something beautiful happened in me. I am healed, I am wholesome, I feel happy. I just came to tell you that I am happy. I don't get too many confessions like that. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful to confess your joy. You know, you're not always confessing your sin, you know. You confess your joy in the Lord. You confess the faith in the Lord. And more things will break through in our hearts and minds. And divine mercy may win our life, win over our life. And the poor His love is everlasting. I believe in one God, 
but to the Almighty, equal from an end, both invisible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, heard from God, light from light, good book of God not made, but by the Father, who gave him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit, and one from the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake is crucified and Francis Pilate, the return is the Spirit, the Lord again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I will give you glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, or the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is glorified and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church, the confession and baptism for the forgiveness of sins, who will go through the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the divine mercy of God, let us offer our needs. Our response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Johnson, and our priests, filled with the divine mercy, that they will shepherd the church with wisdom and loving compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That the newly baptized and newly received find in the church both welcome and challenge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. That nations rich and poor work together to share the world's resources fairly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. That those seeking an increase in faith will grow in certainty that God's divine mercy is abundant beyond human imagination. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That all who need God's mercy find it in the actions of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That the members of this community strive to be of one heart and one mind in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have passed away, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those on the prayer line, all those that have asked us to pray for them, and those intentions we hold ever so close to our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember Gerald Champ, whose intention we honor at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. There are also still people who suffer from COVID-19 and the aftermath of it is keep them in our prayers and pray for their healing and the rising numbers to let others be vigilant. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, we all come to you. We trust in your mercy and present our needs and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Lord, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those who are brought to new birth, that renewed by the confession of your name and by baptism and confirmation, they may obtain unending happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to new life, and the halls of heaven, the kingdom, are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, for his rising of life is all has been risen. Therefore overcome with a great joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father Most Holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You formed a man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, Creator, he, have, he might have dominion over all creatures. When through disobedience you, he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father Most Holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Made incarnated by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to accomplish your plan to the sorrowful, the heart of great joy. He gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, with taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave himself and gave his chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free You have set us free Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of your redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent into the realm of death. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension into right hand. As we wait to await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you to bring salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church. Grant in your loving kindness in all to all those who partake in this one bread, one chalice, gathered into one body and one Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of his glory. Therefore, O Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice. Especially your servant, Pope Francis William a Bishop, all order of bishops and clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also, Lord, those who have died in the peace of your Christ, or the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into the heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles, saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of the creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, we glory, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with
she come mercy on us Lamb of God you take your way sins of the world and time grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb Lord, I am not worthy, just in front of my roof, but really say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Thank you for your continued uh, giving for uh, the annual diocese and appeal. So far, we have raised $64,685. Uh, thank you for your generosity. And we still need uh, 30000 uh, to reach our goal. And uh, thank you to all those who are given. And then others, please uh, to, uh, make your pledge and offer your contributions so that uh, we can close this appeal as soon as possible and appreciate your support. As you must have seen in the email, communication flock note, uh, you know, all parish events had to be canceled this weekend because of rising numbers of COVID. And even in Iowa, is one of the top 10. And uh, so just be a little more careful uh, being vigilant. And that's why we roll back our into alternate pews. And uh, so continue to be vigilant. And uh, so that will help us. It will take a little more time. We don't know the end as such. So that around 20% of the people in the country are vaccinated now, which is only a prevention, not a complete solution. And then we have to still be vigilant in our interactions and uh, in our gatherings. The Divine Mercy uh, Chaplet will be prayed at uh, 3 o'clock uh, tomorrow, but it will be preceded by an hour of adoration that will begin at 2 o'clock. So those who are able to receive special graces, uh, for the time of uh, the Divine Mercy across the world, special indulgences. And uh, so please make use of this spiritual opportunity. On April 20th, the Tuesday, we are planning to change our carpets, uh, which is probably 20, 25, 30 years old. Uh, thank you for your support. And uh, so, so that means Sunday, the pews will be taken out to and they, this carpet will be taken out, and the new carpet will be installed, but we hope to accomplish by Friday so that you can still celebrate Mass here with, uh, with the new carpet and, uh, and new arrangements. So, and especially to um, bolt, unbolt the, because these this pews are bolted, to unbolt the pews, uh, uh, Kevin is asking for help, uh, uh, especially uh, April 14th uh, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, so unbolt the pews from the floor. And so your help is, anybody would like to help and, and uh, unbolt it and that's uh, prepare it. And then on, uh, and additionally help is required for after the 2 p.m. mass, sorry, noon mass on next Sunday, not, uh, not tomorrow, but on 18, to move the pews to the Great Hall and rip it out uh, the old carpeting, and as I already mentioned, put the new carpet. Uh, so please contact the parish office or Kevin for more questions you have and also offer your support. Uh, the more we community together do it, we can we can take, do it much better. And uh, especially we need people with the strength. And we already refinished the pews. Over 20, 25 people called, who really offered and volunteered. The similar way, we would like your help and support and we can continue to uh, make our church beautiful. So it's a new month. Uh, so anybody is celebrating birthdays in the month of April? Any birthdays in the month of April? Jim is celebrating and anybody else? You are celebrating? Yeah. Husband and wife, same month. <laughs> expensive. It's expensive, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, keep the cost down and 50% and 50% to the church. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And let's give a round of applause to all of them. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect on our minds and our hearts. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Amen. 
May God, who by the resurrection of only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs of an eternal inheritance. Amen. May you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living a right manner on this earth be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you uh, forever and ever. Amen. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the Yeah.